adventure? Yeah. <laughs> who done it? Who rigged bracket? That'd be <laughs> the new England melee murder mystery. All I'm saying is when me and David got here at like 2 a.m., I was like, all I'm saying is, if there was a murder story ever to happen. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Well, I would immediately suspect Jesse. You think he'd do it? No, but I think it would be... <laughs> it would be really funny to yeah, suspect to, him. To get it out of the way. Yeah. Just be like, yo, Jesse, Jesse. we know. <laughs> yeah, and then he'd be like, guys, exactly. come on. Yeah, do you really think? <laughs> Dude, that would be so funny. That's like playing Mafia with him. It's the same thing. Exactly. It's, it's, and he it's gotta be Jesse. under pressure so easy. Oh Because whenever he hits Mafia, yeah. I was like, dude, Jesse, you're totally Mafia. <laughs> He's like, dude, what, what do you mean? How, I'm Mafia. How did you know? And then he just like looks down at his phone. I'm like, why did you look down at your phone? Look you're, at me. You're so You guilty. are being accused. <laughs> and he just cracks. Yep. So yeah, I think it'd be great if there is, you know, a crime to happen. I, I'm going to immediately convict Jesse. For sure. Like I said, the first one to spill a beer in the Invitational House gets DQ. So sigh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, know, I know you did. Okay, Poor so, si. uh, Fox Climbers, a lot of people have a lot of very different opinions on it. Um, some climbers consider themselves to be specialists, but uh, you cannot deny that, you know, Fox has a really easy time separating the two. Probably the easiest of any character, realistically. Yep. You would be her or Peach, you could argue. I think Fox does it better, yep. and Peach executes. I uh, agree. So. Yeah. I mean, because, yeah, I think and Peach is able to get the kills that aren't off Wave Shine. Yeah. You know, uh, fewer situations, but I think Fox would put out climbers in those situations just as frequently. Oh, for sure. Yeah, just, just fewer options there. But I also think that climbers Peach is <laughs> You might be in a minority there. Maybe, but, uh, but I, think I also might just be transcendent. I definitely agree with you as someone who loses that matchup a lot to a lot of good ice climbers. It's like, Peach is so slow. Peach has to do it perfectly. So it's like, I'll just up air you. Like, please float. I'll up air you and I'll run away. Yeah. What are you going to do? And so Nothing. You're just going to, God damn it, come back here. Yeah, because she has like one good, you know, she has one perfect option. Yeah. And I mean, similarly, that if, you know, yes, the fox has all the options to kill ice timers, but they don't execute perfectly. They're yeah. dead. And there's a lot, I guess not a lot more buttons, but like... There's a lot more buttons. Yeah. There is, and uh, that's a lot of, you know, a lot of the argument I make about fox being, you know, obviously top tier, but not necessarily the best character in the game on a realistic level, because... Yes, if he is able to execute perfectly, he will he destroy is, you. So good, but like it's so you can hard say that to about execute. A lot of characters. Yeah, it's so hard Falco, to execute perfectly. Definitely Falco is Falco. a threat when we get rid of human error, but human error is human. <laughs> human error is very real and it manifests itself solely in Falco. But Ricky just kind of ignored the whole human error thing and started back airing. So <laughs> we're at an even game now. Exactly. There's no human error in back air. Absolutely. Oh no. Oh, he could have mashed there. Yep. That was that was all him behind there. The Nana Gap attack added a bit of like duration that he would have been in the grab, but you could have matched that. Yeah. So Yeah, much like SDI, if you really want to win it, you've gotta press so many buttons so yeah. fast. Kind of all the time. You don't really want to win against climbers if you're not mashing it. I completely agree. At least in like tournament at this, like as a wise stakes man, are kind of high. Yeah, a wise man once said, "I don't mash after midnight," <laughs> and and I agree with that. But, yeah. But yeah, no, this is there's a plane ticket on the line. Yeah, like to Evo. <laughs> and Evo's fun. Evo is a lot of fun, especially if you're into other games too. Like yeah. it's still fun for melee, but like. Yeah. There's so many good games there. Oh, Especially the tech the, chase wobble. That was actually sick. New age, pretty good. Ricky looking a little tilty right now. That's not what we like to see from, from our strong-willed boys. Yeah, when he got wobbled last game, he was shaking his head. It's like, come on, you should have mashed. Like, exactly. You can't just shake your head there. Like, maybe the grab was too dumb. But, like, you can still react to it. It's mashing. Especially when Nana's on the ledge. Like, yeah. You have the world. <laughs> Truly. Um, course quarter stages I think make a lot of sense by Stunners in the matchup as well as Fox, but... Yeah, it's super playstyle thing. Pretty good. Actually loves the stage yeah. against Spacey's, and I hate fighting him here as a Spacey, but Ricky probably really likes it because Shine puts Nana at the edge from anywhere on this stage. Exactly. Which is really nice. And... Oh, really and 
really hard to deal with on the other side. And then up throw up air kills here at like 60. So like everything is going for you here as Fox, but you can also get handoff combos super hard. Yep. You're dead to down smash at 40 with bad DI. Yeah, Ice Counter's lack of range even matters, you know, a little yeah. less. They're able to slide their way in and out. Scraps here are also a lot more frequent and are kind of random to be honest. Like that, like what is going on? Except, yeah, no, uh, Fox can just keep shining and the Nana teleports. And, and then one Sopo down smash, the Fox died there. Exactly. They're complaining about ICs on Twitter five minutes later. Exactly. It's just it's a cycle of life, <laughs> honestly. When you go to Yoshi, it's with Ice Climbers. <laughs> or, I guess it's Ice Climbers. Yeah. This was... But you're, you're all in it together, so you're with them there. <laughs> yeah. They're all having, well, maybe not a good time, but they're having a time. <laughs> Someone's gonna have a good time. Yeah. But Ricky looks like, you know... Looks a little frustrated, and that's understandable. Well, you know, getting wobbled makes sure nobody feel good ever, yeah. except the one doing it. And sometimes not even that much. Yeah. Because sometimes you get ones where they just obviously mess up. It's like, eh. I got wobbler skill. I was once a fraud wobbler. Same. I wobbled big ones at Pound 2016. <laughs> it was the first like game I've ever taken off anyone in a tournament, really. Just fraud wobbler, big wins, Falco. Yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, good match this time, yep. but it's Yoshi, so yep. it literally doesn't matter. Pretty good looking clean. Yeah, and uh, that was his counter pick playing against him there. Um, a bigger stage, getting grabbed around a similar position, may not have had that happen. I like going back to chain lane. It was really close. I agree. He just didn't mash, really. And it was still last time. I think with how close the last game was and how fast the last game was, this is probably a good breaker. Yeah. Like, you don't really want to fight very good at straps. Even if you end up winning a decent amount of them, you only have to lose a few of them to lose the game. Agreed. That's, that's the magic of Ice Climber. And yeah, there's a reason why Pretty Good is allowed to play kind of this aggro, scrappy game. Yeah. Because, you know, you know, half the time it does work out for it. Yeah. And that's all it needs. <laughs> and with Ice Climbers, half the time is a really good bet. Yeah. Super good. 50% chance they are guaranteed dead. I think people really don't. Realize how how much Ice Climber struggles to get him. Yeah. Yeah, I think people, you know, obviously wobbling is, you know, a one touch kill hypothetically, but it's it's, it's kind of so like how hard. you get there. Yeah, it's so tough to to, to achieve that. A lot of times it kind of works out for you because usually other people are just messing up, to be honest. Yeah. Or just doing things wrong, and you're like, oh, cool, I can capitalize on that for free. Of course. Thanks for doing something wrong. It's optimized punish game. Yeah. Not, yeah, that's definitely it's it's hard to it's hard to force a wobble. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're in the pound venue, apparently. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That, that was when I first met you, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> you wobbled the game Nintendo. And I think I told you thanks. <laughs> Whoa, were you the one that said thanks? Hell yeah, oh I was. Oh my god. That was an that was iconic really funny. moment. That was yeah. really funny. <laughs> oh, just runs Run. into a grab. That's the classic. That is definitely the classic. You just come down from respawn and you're like, I'm gonna grab. And then they just come at you. And you grab them. It's like, nice. <laughs> My plan, it worked. <laughs> you got outbrained. And, uh, pretty much. Alright, never mind. I was gonna say prime position for Ice Climbers comeback. But two shines later, <laughs> I rescind that statement yep. completely. Well, it was a nice idea. Yeah. Like, Ice Climbers on their final stock against anyone with two stocks. Ice Climbers advantage. Of course. Free. Yeah, it's... Absolutely free, unless it's Puff. The fear of wobbling means so much. Yeah. And, like, when you're behind, you're thinking, screw it. I'm gonna go for these gamble wobbles. Yeah. And those are always gonna work more than because you haven't been doing them. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's a thing that you that is it's a cheat code. You, lose. <laughs> you, you just start playing your game plan and it's like going even. You're like, all right, wait, let me just do this crazy dumb stuff. It's like reverse psychology yourself. Just, yeah. Yeah. And then you win. Yeah. And it's like, wow. <laughs> Incredible. Ice climbers next are thing busted. You know, next thing you know, you're top 15. <laughs> Next thing you know, there are, you know, there are forms about banning wobbling. <laughs> and it's like, nice. Yeah, I did it. I've achieved greatness. I've made it. <laughs> but yeah, if, if your tournament performance doesn't make people question whether wobbling should be legal, you're not doing it right. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and 
at a, <laughs> at a 169. <laughs> Waz. Let's go. I'm, uh, they're gonna be was to me forever, but that's that is, fine. But uh, I'm gonna we're I'm gonna rival New England crew. I can't respect their name. Yeah, I just really like saying Waz. I like Wazly. <laughs> the whole package. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just fun to say. It really is. Waz, Waz and Habs are. I'm glad we SPC sounds rolls off the tongue too. Yeah. Good job, boys. We did it. BTG, we're gonna make a combo video, so, you know. We're working on ours, I just have yet to do anything cool yet. Fair. Yep. <laughs> Takes time, I play Peach. Yeah. I mean, Peach can do sick stuff, it's just... I'm, I'm learning. Yeah. I've only just learned how to do anything but play neutral. <laughs> <laughs> I only just learned how to crouch cancel, you're all, you're all, you're all done for. Oh, God. kind of funny to take that long to learn like I've, one of the biggest things about the character. I've literally gotten by by having to play neutral 16 times harder than I have to. <laughs> so like at That's least like I've got... That's like the opposite of how every Peach player goes I about know. it too. They always literally save learning neutral for like the last thing yep. they do in their game. Nope. I only know how to like dash in, dash out and threaten. <laughs> like, like every other Peach is like I'm just gonna make sure you die if I happen to hit you randomly with a dash attack or nair. Nope. And then they do. <laughs> and it's like, okay. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ricky. Bouncing back. I don't even. It doesn't seem like he's made any crazy adjustments either. Just like executing like, cleaner. And get it, you know, killing off a punish. Because mm. it looks. I mean, yeah, the playstyle doesn't look any different really yeah. between the two. Like, I don't think there's been any, like, crazy adjustment that's now brought this to the game five. That it's pretty, at. Yeah, I think pretty good is definitely Blood Bloom more, and I can kind of, I think we can kind of see that in his, uh, his attitude right now. Yeah, that is also super likely. Yeah. Turning nerves definitely yeah. something pretty good. Going that for the still with yeah. And also are his comfort zone, like, more than wobbling, actually, so. Yeah, but he's, yeah, I, I'd like to see, I would really like to see his, uh, his mentality not affect his performance, or at least, you know, this be a learning experience. You know, playing a bunch of matches at the top level. Yeah, he's got a good start to this one, but Nana is definitely gone. But, like, that's fine. You get an involved Nana coming in. You can get, like, a bit of percent here. Not looking good. Wow, he did that. Sometimes yeah, he, he's Fox isn't percent. good. True. <laughs> Sometimes. I very much agree there. Sometimes Fox just looks terrible. And, you know, everyone and their dog has practiced combo with Fox. That's all I do. It's because it's, it's the only thing that's fun, Jason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Someone gets it. No oh, way. You, oh, but I, I that appreciate been it. That would have insane. Going for the dunks. The double? Double dunks. Couldn't do it to him. But he tried. Yeah. But good on Ricky to tech it, honestly. Yeah. I would have been ready to attack, like, what? I thought I was going down. Exactly. Oh, great back here on the... Not great firefox uh, position. That stall is definitely hella not invincible, but it worked for him. So. Yeah. Pretty People don't know is. stuff. Yeah. Well, climbers, and then you went. <laughs> oh, we uh, we know that more than anybody. We've heard the BBB lecture. I love Dylan. I love I Dylan. Miss him so much. He's honestly one of my favorite people. Period. Out of everyone I've ever met one of the best people. <laughs> oh my god. This reminded me of the last invitation. He was here. Yeah. <laughs> Flexing. And we played Yoshi Ices and I won the first set <laughs> and he said wait. And he left for like five minutes. He lubed up. Got a drink I'm pretty sure. Came back he said we're running it back. <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure he bodied me. And I was like what the fuck. He definitely went and like swept the bowl or something outside grabbed a drink. But... Like he just Literally, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> he was not pleased that he lost to my Yoshi, yep. and he was not going to let it happen Because yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to beat every ice use with my Yoshi. It's that matchup so fun. Yeah, oh god, that's gross. That's actually a little, it's a little gross, but I support it. It's just Yoshi's only, like, close matchup. It's fun. So this is looking closer. Speaking of close, yeah. yeah. We got this right now. One down smash, and Robbie's in a good spot. Back air. I can see him fishing for it. Yeah, like. 
Oh, up smash? Oh, man. Oh, that's tough. Um, oh, forward air. Oh, the platform. God, that's tough. One thing that I will commend Robbie has on is Robbie on is that his shielding, especially neutral, has been really smart. He's been, you know, careful of it, but not too careful of it. He's able to work his way around Ricky, which is not hard for Ricky's no. zooming. Oh, he saved her. I thought she was gone. And got him with the noggin. Oh, and Ricky actually had an opportunity to try and get out of there. Oh, and only gets one grab off his info. That's really scary in this last stock scenario. Not. You wanted to get a lot more off that involved. Yeah. This is oh Nana desync up air and the grab. Wow. That was so, that was actually the best setup we've seen all yeah, that. Yeah, that was a huge great and move. He has not done that before uh, in this set, and uh, I can't do that. Yeah, so I don't know how hard. he did that, but it was sick. And it mattered. He busted it out when he literally needed it the most, so. Um, a fact of life is that all Ice Climbers windscreens are really, really good. 100% agree. Uh, my favorite is the peekaboo. Yep. It is, is my personal Absolutely. favorite. But, but bouncing is really good, too. Oh. I think bouncing is my least favorite, but it's still good. Because yeah. I love the high five, but the peekaboo is absolutely <laughs> just the best. Peekaboo is busted. High five is adorable, too. <laughs> <sighs> Ice climbers are so cute. The high five is really good when you get a super cheesy win. Yeah, 